हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास टिल नाउ वी डिड 34 फोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनदर फाइव प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन दिस क्लास आल्सो यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस आर देयर सो इन दिस क्लास वी आर डूइंग प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डोमेन ऑफ ए फंक्शन इन्वॉल्विंग विथ ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस यू मे फील दिस आर लिटिल कन्फ्यूजिंग सो हाउ पेशेंस वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल द थिंग्स क्लियरली सो विदाउट मच डिले लेट्स वी कैन द क्लास यू ऑब्जर्व दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव We need to calculate domain of this function log of cos x base x. Here logarithm is there, na? Whatever this expression is there, that must be greater than zero. Cos x must be greater than zero because logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only. What about this base? This base is also greater than zero and base value cannot be equal to one. Now you need to find x values which satisfies all three conditions. Cos x greater than zero. That means cos x is positive. Cos x is positive in which quadrants? Cos x is positive in first quadrant. Cos x is positive in fourth quadrant. First quadrant, fourth quadrant interval we can write like this. X belongs to open interval minus pi by two comma pi by two. I hope you understand. Zero to pi by two is first quadrant. Fourth quadrant can be written as minus pi by two to zero. Fourth quadrant in anti-clockwise direction. So when cos x is greater than zero, x values lies in open interval minus pi by two comma pi by two. Now what are the other things we have? X greater than zero and x value not equal to one. What I'll do first? I'll do intersection of these two. If I do intersection of these two, here x greater than zero. In this, negative values are there, positive values are there. When I do intersection of these two, what I will get? X belongs to open interval zero comma pi by two. You observe, you observe this interval is present in this as well as in this also. So when I do intersection of these two, I will get like this. And and X cannot be equal to one. Zero to pi by two means zero to ninety degrees. Here one means if we consider one as one radian, one radian is approximately equal to fifty seven degrees. 57 degrees are present in this interval yes 57 degrees present in this interval but x cannot be 1 so from this interval i need to remove 1 so what is domain of this function domain of this function is open interval 0 comma pi by 2 except 1 whenever we take x value in this interval this function is defined that's why this is known as domain of this function i hope you understand this you observe question number 36 we need to calculate domain of this function here cos of something is there we know that cos x is defined for all real numbers so nothing to worry this can be any real number now you observe here log of something is there We know that logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only. So whatever this expression is there, that must be greater than zero. So root over 16 minus x square divided by 3 minus x must be greater than zero. Why? Because logarithm is defined for positive real numbers only. And one more thing, in this square root is there. We know that whatever the expression is there in square root, that must be greater than or equal to zero. Here, 16 minus x square must be greater than or equal to zero. But when I take equal to zero, there is a problem. When this expression is zero, this will become log zero. Log zero is not defined. That's why here you need to keep with strictly greater than zero. 16 minus x square strictly greater than zero. It cannot be equal to zero. And one more thing, this is of the form f of x divided by g of x. If g of x is zero, then this function is not defined. So three minus x cannot be equal to zero. Now we need to find x values which satisfies all three conditions. You come to this one. Root over sixteen minus x square is always positive. There is a chance of zero, but it will never be zero because sixteen minus x square is not zero. Please try to understand this. Whatever the expression in under root, you observe the range of root x. You will get all positive real numbers, including zero. You won't get zero here because 16 minus x square value is greater than zero. Clearly, this is positive. 
okay what we want here this total expression is greater than zero this total expression is positive we know that this whole thing numerator is positive denominator must be positive numerator is positive denominator is positive then only this whole thing is positive i hope you are understanding this total inequality will be true only when 3 minus x is greater than zero you see here i need x values which satisfies this condition so i'll multiply this complete inequality with minus multiply with minus this 16 minus x square will become x square minus 16 we know that for an inequality if we multiply with a negative real number inequality sign changes this greater than changes to less than 0 3 minus x not equal to 0 means x cannot be equal to 3 for this inequality you multiply with minus this 3 minus x will become x minus 3 when i multiply inequality with negative real number inequality sign changes greater than changes to less than from this what is x x is less than 3 now to find the x values which satisfies this inequality i'll write this in the form of x minus a into x minus b so that i can easily calculate x square minus 16 can be written as x plus 4 into x minus 4 x plus 4 into x minus 4 less than 0 you mark them on their number line you equate this to 0 you will get x equal to minus 4 you mark it on the number line you equate this to 0 you will get x equal to 4 you mark it on the number line to find x values which satisfies this inequality by using wavy curve method in the rightmost corner you keep plus and then alternate symbols minus plus like this less than 0 means i want negative sign where in this interval this expression is negative so x belongs to open interval minus 4 comma 4 and and here this is as usual x cannot be equal to 3 now i need to find intersection of all these three sets to find x values which satisfies all three conditions i'll mark them on the number line you observe here minus 4 3 4 three numbers are there mark them as per number line order minus 4 3 4 okay i'll mark this set x less than 3 open interval strictly less than 3 na open interval x less than 3 means all these values all these values are less than 3 now open interval minus 4 comma 4 that means this part open interval minus 4 comma 4 what is intersection of these two what is intersection this is first set this is second set intersection of these two is this so x belongs to open interval minus 4 comma 3 i hope you are understanding intersection of these two sets is x belongs to open interval minus 4 comma 3 in this 3 is there in this interval 3 is there this is open interval 3 na? that means 3 is not included see x is not equal to 3 in this 3 is not there so no problem so what are the x values which satisfies all three conditions this is the interval which satisfies all three conditions so when i take x value in this interval this function is defined that's why this is known as domain of this function i hope you understand this you observe this question number 37 we need to find domain of this function f of x equal to 1 divided by 1 minus tan x this is of the form f of x divided by g of x na? this g of x cannot be equal to 0 if denominator is 0 then this function is not defined so 1 minus tan x not equal to 0 from this what i can write i can write that tan x cannot be equal to 1 okay tan x cannot be equal to 1 can be written as tan pi by 4 na? tan x cannot be equal to tan pi by 4 we know the general solution for trigonometric equation tan theta equal to k when tan theta equal to k theta is n pi plus pi by 4 here x not equal to because here not equal symbol is there na? x not equal to n pi plus pi by 4 where n is an integer and one more point you need to keep in your mind here tan x is there tan x is not defined for all real numbers what is the domain of tan x domain of tan x is all real numbers except odd multiples of pi by 2 this we learn in last class so here x cannot be equal to odd multiple of pi by 2 i hope you are understanding x cannot be equal to odd multiple of pi by 2 suppose tan pi by 2 not defined then this whole thing is not defined tan 3 pi by 2 not defined that means this whole thing is not defined so this x value cannot be equal to odd multiple of pi by 2 what i'll do i'll simplify this little bit this whole expression you multiply with pi by 2 what you will get x cannot be equal to n pi plus pi by 2 so x cannot be equal to n pi plus pi by 2 x cannot be equal to n pi plus pi by 4 so this function is defined for all real numbers except the values of x if x is of this form this function is not defined if x is of this form then this function is not defined 
So what I'll do, I'll write its domain. What is domain of this function? Domain of this function is all real numbers, but for these values, this function is not defined. X cannot be equal to n pi plus pi by 4. At the same time, x cannot be equal to n pi plus pi by 2. In this, n is an integer. If I take any real number in this set, then this function is defined. That's why this is known as domain of this function. What is domain of a function? For what values of x the function is defined, that is known as domain of the function. You observe this question number 38. We need to find domain of this function. 1 divided by 1 plus 2 sin x. This is of the form f of x divided by g of x. Na? This denominator cannot be equal to 0. So 1 plus 2 sin x cannot be equal to 0. From this, what is sin x? sin x cannot be equal to take 1 to this side and 2 to the denominator sin x cannot be equal to minus 1 by 2 now i'll use trigonometric equations to write the general solution for what x values sin x is not equal to minus 1 by 2 this minus 1 by 2 can be written like this sin of minus 30 degrees sin of minus pi by 6 see here sin of minus pi by 6 is minus sin pi by 6 sin pi by 6 means sin 30 degrees, sin 30 degrees value 1 by 2. So this minus 1 by 2 I can write like this. From trigonometric equations, we know that whenever sin theta equal to k, its general solution is n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into alpha, where alpha is the principal solution. So what I can write here, I can write x cannot be equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into alpha. What is alpha? Alpha is minus pi by 6. x value cannot be equal to this. In place of this minus pi by 6, you can write pi minus theta also. Pi minus theta. Pi minus, what is theta here? Minus pi by 6. What you will get here? Uh, minus of minus plus 6 pi plus pi by 6 is 7 pi by 6. So, you can answer, you can write like this. Or, you can write like this also. x not equal to n pi plus minus 1 whole power n into 7 pi by 6. Answer you can write like this or you can write like this also. I hope you understand this. You observe this question number 39. The function f of x is defined on closed interval 0 comma 1. What they are saying the function f of x is defined on closed interval 0 comma 1. What it tells f of x is defined on closed interval 0 comma 1 means what it tells whatever x values are there they lie in this interval that means 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1 okay now what they are asking find the domain of f of tan x in place of x here tan x is there that means tan x value lies in between 0 and 1 so what i can write here closed interval na 0 less than or equal to tan x less than or equal to 1 I hope you understand as they given f of x is defined on closed interval 0 comma 1 whatever is there here that lies in between 0 and 1 here f of tan x in place of x here tan x is there that means tan x values lies in between closed interval 0 comma 1 now this 0 can be written as tan 0 okay less than or equal to tan x less than or equal to 1 1 can be written as tan pi by 4 now what I will do, I will apply tan inverse to this. We know that tan inverse of tan theta is theta when theta belongs to open interval minus pi by 2 comma pi by 2. So when you apply tan inverse to this, tan inverse of tan 0 is 0 less than or equal to tan inverse of tan x is x less than or equal to tan inverse of tan pi by 4 is pi by 4. That means what is the domain of this function? Domain of f of tan x is closed interval 0 comma pi by 4. So domain of f of tan x is closed interval 0 comma pi by 4. This is the interval in first quadrant. In case if they are asking in general form then how you will write? To write this into general form you see when tan x is 0 then x is what? x is n pi. When tan x is 0 x is n pi less than or equal to x less than or equal to when tan x equal to 1 what is its general solution tan x equal to 1 tan theta equal to k general solution is n pi plus alpha when tan x equal to k its general solution is what n pi plus pi by 4 n pi plus pi by 4 you can understand this easily if you know the knowledge of trigonometric equations in trigonometric chapter so if they are asking domain of this function in first quadrant means we'll write closed interval 0 comma pi by 4 if they are asking in general what is the domain of this function means this is domain of this function i hope you understand this class doing problems on domain of a function initially confuses but once you got grip on the concept then you can do these problems very easily 
Dear friends, if you like this video, please drop a like and share it with your friends. In case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.